Hey guys, this is Kishore Ashokan and you're watching Fighting Diabetes. In this channel, I share my experience related to diabetes and other health tips. Today's video is about testosterone. Diabetes and testosterone. Is testosterone level related to diabetes? Does uh, diabetes cause uh, lowering of testosterone level? How important is testosterone for men and women? How do I increase testosterone level naturally? So these are the things which I am going to talk in this video. It's really important. Please watch this video till the end. I have some really good tips for you guys. So what is testosterone? Testosterone is a steroid hormone more commonly known as male sex hormone because men has more testosterone than women. It's more important for men and it's not really good for women to have higher level of testosterone. It's the other way around. So yeah, testosterone in males are important for uh, developing the masculine features like the beard, voice. Usually you'll see these changes, especially in the teenage. Uh, and other than that, uh, over a period of time, say after the age of 40, this level starts dropping. And there could be other reasons in between the levels could go up or down. It is found that men with uh, diabetes has low level of testosterone. So is it because of diabetes the testosterone level goes down or is it because of low testosterone uh, the person become diabetic? Is there any relation? We need to check that out. What are the symptoms of uh, low testosterone level? The first thing is low libido, erectile dysfunction, fatigue, low motivation, increased body fat especially around the abdomen, increase in sweating. Is low testosterone related to diabetes? So there are many researchers which show that there is a relationship between low testosterone and diabetes. Is it because of diabetes the testosterone level goes down or the other way around? Testosterone plays a very important role in storage of fat. There are two ways of storage of fat. One is below the skin that is the subcutaneous fat and the other one is the visceral fat. Visceral fat means the fat around the belly. Low testosterone increase the fat around the belly that is the visceral fat which is really not good for health, not good for diabetes. So in women it is the other way around. Suppose woman is having more testosterone, it is found that the fat storage that is the visceral fat is more in women with more testosterone and in uh, men it is low testosterone more visceral fat low testosterone is also the reason for low libido and uh, uh, muscle loss so what is the ideal fat percentage for a healthy human being see suppose you are able to maintain around 20 to 24 percentage of fat it is very healthy it's very difficult to go say like 15% or 10 to 15% basically if you are an athlete and working out every day you can come to that level but 20 to 24 percent is ideal for healthy people and again it would depend upon the age and other factors also even fat percentage for men and women are different so you can there are so many information on the internet to find out the exact fat per percentage uh, looking into your age and uh, sex see there are many ways to increase uh, testosterone there are so many products sold in the market uh, I don't know about uh, these kind of steroids and other stuff which I really don't recommend and I have never used it. Uh, if you are running really low of testosterone, you need to consult a doctor and find out if there are any other issues. Uh, I am giving you some tips which you can use to boost your testosterone level naturally. The first thing is do lots of exercise. Regular exercise is very important. Uh, especially the squats. The leg exercise really help in uh, increasing the testosterone level, high intensity interval training, then um, weight training, muscle building, these are really helpful in uh, increasing testosterone level. Food rich in uh, vitamin D, yak yolk, then um, non-vegetarian food like uh, tuna, beef, oyster, shellfish. These are really good food to increase the testosterone level. Legumes, if you're a vegetarian, legumes, dal, is really good have regularly good food especially nutritious food to boost testosterone level vitamin d is really important reduce stress the, that's very important if you are really stressed up the testosterone level will go down stress releases cortisol and cortisol blocks the effects of testosterone so stress is really bad for testosterone 
I would suggest two herbal medicines that is from Himalaya drugs which is really known to boost testosterone. One is Ashwagandha and the other one is Gokshura. Both are really good for um, boosting testosterone and it's very natural and uh, has no side effects. That's what I know. Another factor is testosterone and aging. Research show that a higher level of testosterone slows down aging. So if you have to be young, you need to have good level of testosterone. So how important is testosterone for a healthy diabetic person? See, good level of testosterone is really helpful for every person, not just diabetic. If you are able to maintain good level of testosterone naturally, it would be really good. Do regular exercise, have good food, come out of stress. These are basic things what you need to do. Uh, testosterone really affects aging. So if you want to be young, you should have good level of testosterone. You can in fact check your testosterone level by doing lab tests. There are some normal values. If it is like almost near normal, then nothing to worry. Uh, still, I would suggest that you do regular exercise and have really healthy vitamin D rich food and uh, shellfish, legumes, these kind of things would really help you guys. And it is really good if you're diabetic because diabetic people, definitely the testosterone level goes down. So keep a check on that. It would be really helpful. Fighting diabetes, have normal level of testosterone. You will really see the difference. So that's all for now. If you have any inputs, please do comment. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Bye for now. Take care.